Good morning. Just woke up. Pretty tired. I work at Split Shift today, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready and head to my first shift. All right, just got home from work here. Pretty tired. Like I really want to lay down in my bed right now, but I'm doing a um. How long is it? Yeah, 30 days of no electronics in bed or just like no awake activities in bed basically so uh, all i'm using that bed for is sleeping so right now i cannot sleep obviously um i don't want to take naps either because that will mess with my sleep debt unless you do i think it's like 20 or 30 minute naps or something along those lines i'll talk about that later but uh yeah as of i'm just gonna make some food and then get back with you all right so just got off the phone with this guy named rick i guess i was looking on kijiji i found a uh, iphone 6s for sale so yeah, he said that he can meet up in a couple of days, so I'm pretty happy I got my phone figured, I'm sorry, my phone situation figured out, I think, I'm hoping so, pretty confident in it, so, yeah, now I'm gonna actually make some food, and then, uh, yeah, keep on going with the day here. Alright, <laughs> just got, uh, done some stuff at home there, I had to send some more emails out to my teachers, because, yeah, I'm doing my course online, and, uh, yeah, they ain't replying, so, like, what's good? Um, I'm just gonna go down I start working about an hour I'm gonna see if I can buy some summer summer tires because I don't have any summer tires in my car right now so yeah I'll catch you there all right so just got done here um, huge shout out to Ryan Ryan helped me out I have a buddy that works here his name is Johnny and uh, yeah Ryan helped me out so I'm just gonna yeah go over this with my parents and whatnot and see if I can find some like used tires cheaper or whatnot maybe on Kijiji or something but yeah so that's all I'm doing here and uh, not too sure what I'm going to do. Might stop by work, but I still work in like 30 minutes. So, I don't know. I'm just going to figure out what I'm going to do and catch you then. Alright, just got off work here. We're going to go home and, yeah, catch everyone there. Just had some food. Gonna, yeah. I think I'm just going to film some stuff. Maybe trampoline, maybe basketball. I don't know. Yeah, guess I'll see you then. just kidding that's <laughs> so cringy but um yeah basically done for the day right now just out here enjoying the beautiful view of the town and uh yeah i want to talk over my next i don't want to call it a lesson i want to call more advice i think that, that sounds better so advice this one is um i kind of learned this i, I learned this through, through dan bilzerman dan bilzerman he's a huge role model to me he's living the life lavish beautiful women crazy expensive cars mansions whatever he wants he's got it he's living the life he's what i he's you know he he's basically what i want to do when i'm older or, you know i want to do it right now let's be honest so um yeah he he was in a podcast with joe rogan and he said that um it's basically you you got to think long term in life so he had this story as an example i'm not going to be able to say it exactly but i'll, I'll give it a go it's basically there's a farmer and uh, he had he had a son, and what happened was, he, first off, his son um, 
or sorry, yeah, he had a son. That's in the story, but he had he had a field which had horses. They had, say they had th they had three horses, and um, the next day they wake up and there's only one horse. And so the townspeople come back and they say, "Well, farmer, that's bad, ain't it?" And he says, "Maybe." And then so the next day, the horses come back and they bring like nine wild horses, and the townspeople come and they say, "Well, that's great, ain't it?" He goes, maybe. And then so, what? the next day, the boy's out in the farm, and the horse kicks, and he breaks his leg. And the town comes, and they say, oh, well, that's terrible, ain't it? He says, maybe. And then, the next day, the recruiting officers, I believe they're called, for, um, for, um, I, I can't, I can't think of it, but when you got, when you got to go to war, you know, they, if you're 19, you have to go to war, so the son, he was 19, but he had a broken leg, so they skipped him. And the, and the town says, oh, well, that's great, ain't it? And he goes, maybe. And so it's basically, you know, you, you can see it's going positive, negative, positive, negative. But um, in the end, it, sorry, in the end, it will it, it will turn out positive there. So the lesson behind that is in, in the short term, sometimes you don't know if it's right or not. And that can be that can be applied to anything in your life, whether that's making the decision to go to college or not, or if you're getting fired at a job. You know, those things, or, you know, even if it's um, a loved one dying or something crazy like that. Short term, it feels terrible. It, you think that that was a, or you make a decision. It feels like the worst decision you've ever made. But long term, later down the road, those can lead to better and bigger things. Those can lead to greater things. So it's really to to not be so short term minded, to not be such a short term thinker. You got to. You gotta really see how life lays it out, because you really don't know the long-term effects in the short-term moment. So, that's basically all I wanted to say today. Otherwise, yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hope you have a good night tonight.